Look at this morning. Whew. It is really nice out. There's Zeus. Yeah. Everybody who doesn't... <laughs> there he goes. It's our local dog. <laughs> it is gorgeously frosty today. This fine morning. We don't have uh, any clouds coming today, supposedly. So that's good. Before I get on with some horsey check, I've already done a little bit of a check, but I wanted to make sure everybody was fed because I want this to be the answer that's going to be coming very, very soon. I'm sure of it, as there are so many new people here. Again, welcome to the channel. It is absolutely wonderful having you here. Uh, but you're going to ask me, why don't we put blankets on our horses? This is an annual one, just like the hay bags. One. Look at her. What? Do you need me? No? Okay. I'll just stay over here. Um, and the easiest... Actually, I did have another question, which was kind of... Um, uh, interesting as well. It comes in once in a while. Why don't you put more sides on your shelters? What about the wind? <clears throat> well, we don't get very much wind around here. It is actually reasonably rare to get a lot of wind and the minor wind gets stopped by all of these trees. We live in a forest. Literally, it is surrounded on all sides by trees and bushes and essentially... Hey, who left that there? Hmm... Whoever did feeding this morning left that there. Anyhow, so the um, the wind gets stopped. So we don't have an environment where there's a lot of wind. It is quite wet, uh, but not a lot of wind. <clears throat> and the shelters are a part of the puzzle of why we don't blanket them. The other part, as I mentioned in the beginning of this, is our feeding schedule. Feeding schedule around this joint is pretty much all the time, as you can see. Hello, Gracie. Let's go say hi to Gracie. She's an easy one to get to. Let's just climb underneath the fence a little here. What's going on, little one? Leave me alone. I'm hungry. Yeah? So, all of our horses, especially the angry ones, <laughs> have what we refer to as 24-7 hay. Now, 24-7 hay doesn't mean that it is absolutely 100% 24 hours a day, but it is seven days a week, that's for sure. We do our best to provide. What happened to this line here? Oh, it's frozen. Neat. Um, but it is hi yoga. Definitely all the time. And yeah, we're trying to keep these things. It's like I wasn't following you. What's up? Go a little more. Stop. <laughs> Is there something that you need? Look at this luscious mane. It's so fluffy. Uh, you have food, you're good. So, uh, anyways, where was I? Talking about the, the hay bags for the most part, have hay in them. Whether it's a little bit or as we've seen now, with full refills, there's a lot. Why does this matter? Well, hello Luke. You want to say hi? No, yeah. Fresh hay is always a, a great draw for these guys. Why does it matter? It matters because horses uh, like us, when we eat the the energy supplied gets turned into, well, all kinds of things. And the byproduct of all of that, or sometimes the actual product of it, is heat. So plenty of horses, unfortunately, live a life. <sighs> We're never gonna see this guy. He's never gonna come over. He is that kind of guy. Uh, uh, plenty of horses that live on two flakes in the morning, two flakes at night, or less. I've had some people come through in the comments and say, well, I only gave my horse one flake a day, and they were just fine. Yeah, maybe, maybe not. Um, the reason... Is 
angry squirrel. And the reason for the knot is because that's not what we, their digestive system. Ah, see, I've got the right camera today. Check out those mountains. Come on, camera, focus in, focus in. There they are. Look at those beautiful mountains. Hard to tell, a little bit distant from here. Anyhow. So, because their digestive system works differently, we do also need to feed them, which was my hay bag video. Why well, we don't have a green pasture, I'll link to that one. But because they always have food, they're always creating heat. Horses that can't have food in their body all the time because they're not fed in such a way, or they don't have unlimited grazing kind of going on, they can't create the heat. And when they can't create the heat, well, they get cold, they possibly shiver, and then they get, uh, well, they'll lose weight and stuff like that. And a lot of people will just blanket their horses to solve the shivering problem. <clears throat> It's not to say some environments aren't pretty chilly and stuff like that, but we do know that plenty of horses live out in the wild in a very, very cold environment, and they do mostly fine. So there's something else. And the other bit to this is to have a solid shelter. When I say a solid shelter, like the question that came in about whether we should do all three sides, depending on the wind, I agree with that. But it must have a big enough space up top to stop the rain and the snow, stop them from getting soaking wet. A place where they can dry out and fluff back up kind of idea, because it's the fluffiness of their coat, and we'll go take a look at one of them, that allows them to stay warm, because that's how insulation works. Think about it inside your house even. The insulation that's in the wall is fluffy, and that's what makes it, well, it's one of the reasons it's insulating. Hello, big guy. You're looking good. Anyhow, so let's take a look at his fluffiness. We can see he's very fluffy. Look at how fluffy he is. Oh, he's telling me no. Anyhow, the fluffiness is what holds the cold out and the warm in. <laughs> Go away, I'm eating right now. Okay, youngster. See you later. Somebody still needs to clean up this hay bag. Let's go grab it. So that is sort of the short version. So essentially what I'm trying to say is that the horses here, because they're well cared for, they have shelter, they have food, clean water, um, and regular exercise that allows them to continue to build muscle and be healthy. That Blankets are 100% not a requirement. And I would say, in such conditions, they are almost never a requirement. But to each his own, I'm not saying that you have to, or don't have to, or anything. That's how we do things here, and that's why we do the things here. So hopefully that sort of uh, heads off the questions that will inevitably come through. Just an absolute beautiful day. We'll see what we get done today. Ooh. Got to get the horses out for sure. The arena's a little frozen yet, so we'll let them eat and then get on with that and hopefully get a little horsey playtime video up for you guys. So if there's any more questions, let me know anytime and I will see you guys in the next one.